<laughs> These extreme temperatures have a number of caring people in the capital city thinking about different ways they can help those who are struggling outdoors. Tonight, our Lance Schwartz brings us the story of one thoughtful Lincoln woman and her newfound skill. Lance? It brings Sue Sherman great joy when she drops off a batch of her homemade hats at a number of different nonprofit facilities around Lincoln. This morning, the Bridge Behavioral Health was her destination of choice. Guy said, what are you making? I said, I'm making hats for the homeless. And he said, God bless you. Until last July, Sue Sherman had no idea how to knit. You have this ring. But once she learned how to knit, there was no stopping her. I did the baby hats first, and I donated like 100 hats to Brian East for their NICU unit. From there, it was Sue's son who would come up with the next step in her mission. He said, Mom, let's do hats for the homeless. And I said, all right, that's a good idea. Yes, it was such a good idea that Sue has made more than 600 hats for the homeless with no end in sight. We rely on community members like Sue who can put her love and her skill and her talents to work. Tammy Stevenson is the executive director for The Bridge, and she knows for a fact that her clients appreciate Sue's hats. Often they come to us and they don't have a lot and they haven't had somebody that's maybe invested a lot of time in them. So to be able to give them something that's handmade specifically for them, absolutely, that's, that's the extra mile. And Sue is more than willing to go the extra mile for those less fortunate in Lincoln. When I donated the first ones to uh, Matt Talbot, there was a lady there and she said, oh my gosh, these are so great. And she tried one of the hats on and she said, does that look good on me? And I said, yes, it does. And it was so heartwarming for me. Sue says she is always in need of more yarn to make more stocking hats. So if you'd like to donate any spare yarn that you might have to Sue's mission, you are invited to drop it off at the Bridge Behavioral Health that's located under the Rosa Parksway Bridge at 7th and K in downtown Lincoln. Keep them coming, Sue.